Hey, what's going on, everybody? Bauer Brown here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In the video that I have for you guys today, we are going to be uh, building a wall. That's right. We're going to secure our borders and build a wall. And I'm going to stop right there <laughs> before I come up with some off-color joke and get myself in some real trouble. All righty. Anyhow, now, on a serious note, um, I did notice that... Uh, while I was working on this map, and I'll show you what I mean here. If you go to info layers, and I have right now, I have a placement collision generated. That's what I'm looking at here. All right, and you can see that red line that goes all along the edge of the map there. That was my border, okay? And you can see, just look at this here. That's just a really, really crazy, goofy shape, even over here. And it just doesn't work for me. All right, and it's it's never going to work for me. <laughs> I, I think when they built the map, it suited, you know, it, it suited uh, their purpose of what they were doing there. But for what we have going on, it's just not going to work. We all know that that border is there just to keep you from falling off the edge of the world and into a digital ether, right? Into the digital nothingness. OK, so that's what we're using that for. All right. So if we can't use the borders that came with the map, all right, so what do we do then? You know, you don't really see them. You can't really download them. It's not like it's a prefab or anything like that. Although I have seen them in the past, but not lately. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to make our own. Easy as that, right? That's not complicated. I can show you really quick. As a matter of fact, this is probably going to be a, a quick video just because it really doesn't take long. All right, so what I did is I went up in the gameplay and in the map boundaries, or I told you to hang on to those. Um, I didn't realize at the time when I told you to hang on to them that they were all really goofy shaped like that and probably weren't going to be much use for us. Um, so I went ahead and I deleted everything that was in that map boundaries folder because I am going to make new ones and you can too. Just follow along. <laughs> all right. So the way I get this done, um, I just use a simple primitive. I use a, uh, well here, go up to create, go down to primitives. And then I use a simple plane, okay? So I create plane. Uh, you can hit control B if you want to and place it somewhere where you can see it, but it doesn't make that big of a difference. Okay, so all we really need to do now is just resize this plane, put it in the area that, you know, that we want it, and and we're good. We have, well, kind of. We have a couple more things we're going to do to it, but we're mostly good. All right, so let's get started with that. So we have the, the primitive, okay? The first thing that we want to do is we're going to resize it. All right, so the translate X up here, or not the translate, I'm sorry, go up to the scale, go to scale X, and our map is, if you're on a standard size map, is 2048. So I'm going to type in 2048, and you can see I'm already looking that I'm pretty close to the width. Actually, I am the width of the map. I'm pretty close to center. See that? Okay, so once we have that there, you need to do the uh, scale Z. All right, now the Z, uh, you just give it a, a nice round number like say 500 there you go look at that okay now i understand i see that it's laying flat on its side and, and that's fine we're like i said we're gonna we're gonna build a wall we're gonna be okay with this uh from there all we really need to do is fix our translations and our rotations so we need to get that into the spot where we want it okay so up top here i'm gonna go to translate zero and tra or for the translate x i'm gonna put zero translate z I'm going to put at a negative 1024. Okay. And now I just need to rotate it. So I'm going to go down to rotate X. That's going to be 90. And I'm going to leave the other two at zero. Okay. And there you go. You can see we have a big white wall, very white wall, as a matter of fact, which is okay. Maybe we can watch movies or something. <laughs> we can watch movies on it later. All right. Now we're going to take care of that right now, as a matter of fact. So the only things left to do now that we have that there. So we go over to our attributes panel on the right hand side of my screen and scroll down a little bit and you will see a section here or listing for rigid body. Now mine's already checked, but yours was probably blank since we just made this. So make sure that that's checked. And what that does for a lack of a better term is it gives it some substance, right? Up until this point, we could have walked right through that, that plane and you would never know. All right. But this here gives it some substance and it makes it, it's solid. You know, it solidifies it. Okay. So 
go over to the rigid body tab on the top. All right. And make sure that collision is checked and it should be. And then at the tabs at the top again, go over to shape. Now the shape, all we're doing is if you look down just a little bit here where it says cast shadow map, click the first four cast shadow map, uh, receive shadow map, non-renderable and distance blending. Okay. Rigid body is, is mostly the most important thing there. Mainly the most important thing. Uh, everything else is just secondary. Okay. So now that we have that there, that's basically all that we need. When I click off of it, you can see, you know, it's nice and invisible the way we want it. And you'll learn a hard lesson when you think that it's not there and you do try to drive off the edge of the map. <laughs> you'll find out the hard way that it is there. All right. So where it says plain, we can go ahead and we can rename that to, uh, say, border one or whatever you want. You can you can give it any name that you want. OK, there we go. And from here, it gets even easier because all we really need to do is just duplicate what we already have and then reposition them. All right. So let's duplicate that. OK, and we'll rename that border two. And this is if you even want to, you know, rename them. It Does, doesn't matter. You can name them north, south, east, and west. This way you know. A lot of times I don't even bother renaming them. All right. So for the second one, we're going to go back up to our translate and rotate. All right. So the translate X, we're going to put at 1024. Okay. So I believe it's going to be over on this side is where it's going to show up. And then the, uh, the translate Y... I don't know if I mentioned this on the last one. Just keep it where it's at. Don't put zero or anything like that. Just keep it right where it's at. Okay. And then we're going to put zero for the translate Z. Okay. And then for the rotation, we're going to go down to rotate, rotate X, negative 90. And rotate Y, also negative 90. And then rotate, rotate Z is going to be 180. All right, had to make sure I had my numbers right. Okay, see that? And I put it right in place where we want it. Nice and easy. Okay, we'll duplicate that one. We're going to go on to the third one. I'm not going to bother renaming that one. Uh, for the third one, translate X is going to be 0. Translate Z is going to be 1024. Let's see here, let's go to rotate, rotate X will be negative 90. We can keep that where it's at. And then rotate Y will be zero. And then the 180, we can keep that right where it's at. See how easy this is? There's really, really nothing to this. All right, so we're going to duplicate one more time. Make our fourth one up to translate X. That's going to be negative 1024. Translate Z, as you probably guessed, will be zero. And then let's see, rotate X, if I got this right, is 90. And then rotate Y, 90. Rotate Z is zero. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now what we can do is go back over to our panel here. We can put them all in a nice little group. And you can look around and you can see that all of our borders are nice and snug, right up to the edge, right where we need them. And that's it. There is nothing else to it. It was that simple. Okay. So we can take this transform group that the group that we just made and middle mouse button, and we can drag that up the map boundaries. And there we go. Our boundaries are all set and we are ready with that part of the map. So come, come game time or when we want to test it out, we're good to go. Okay. So that was it really easy, right? I agree. Super easy. All right. We're going to leave it at that. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown and I will see you on the next one.